dying, Melville 67, The Hill. This is only a handful of the long list of poems, novels, and plays penned by a cultural icon this week. He was born as a Nimbula Kachini Mda and adopted the pen name Zix Mda when he started writing. Sir, welcome to Morning Love and thank you very much for making the time. It's my pleasure. Before we even go further, just to clarify for English speaking viewers, that name means literally translated the one who brings rain with them. Why did you change from Sanimvula to Zex? No, no, I, 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 I did not change. I'm still Zanemvula. So I'm still called that officially. I was named Zex Mda when I was growing up, and I decided then to use that as a pen name. Uh, in short, uh, out of the nostalgia of the days when I was growing up uh, and also in memory, in fact, of some of my friends uh, uh, during those days with whom we used to, to create art and uh, play through and, and uh, some of whom left us, you see. Take us back to young Zeg Smda. When were you first aware that you had this gift of writing? Well, it was quite early, actually, uh, from the age of six or so, because I used to write, you know, uh, little poems, um, uh, little short stories, and so on. I started writing in, in the Kosa language. Um, my father was a teacher then. He became a lawyer later. Um, and uh, I would, uh, I mean, I grew up I in a house, you know, that was full of books. And uh, I started reading quite early in life. I remember that um, the first full length novel that I ever read in, in my life was a Kosa novel titled Ingumbo Yeminyanya uh, by A.C. Jordan. Uh, Barlow Jordan's father, which was later translated into English by the author uh, as the wrath of the ancestors. I was, I think, about eight or nine when I read this, this novel. By the way, the name Zanemvula that you ask me about, I was actually named after a character in that novel, you see, which tells you that Already, that was some kind of an omen that uh, maybe this boy is going to be a, a writer. Mm. Yeah. So f from that age onwards, I was interested in in, in, in stories, you know. And and then, of course, uh, during holidays, we would now visit the grandmother in the village somewhere in the Eastern Cape, and there would get now into contact with another kind of storytelling, you know, the Tsomo, in Tsomi, in Ganekwane. And then I was fascinated then by this other form of storytelling. And then the two together, you know, the stories that one read in comic books, and then, you know, the, the, the village kind of storytelling that we had in the Tsomi kind, and the two came together, and of course, you know, sparked my interest in, 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 in storytelling. Take us back to that moment or day when you realized that the transition from writing mm. as a hobby to yes. writing for the masses happened. It happened when I was 13 years old, when my first short story was published. And of course, obviously, I was very excited. I remember for the first time, something of something I'd written was published, and I was paid. You know, right there I was receiving my check for two rands, yeah. <laughs> and here, you know, holding this money, you know, that came from. Then I know, so it's possible to yeah. write and be paid uh, uh, for it. That's when I decided that maybe one day I will write professionally. Lesotho is a big part.